Hi everybody, I'm here to do my Lunar Rites for July and there are a lot of questions to go through and my hair, I don't know what's going on with it. Let's not question it at all. And if you hear any noises, it's either coming from my fan, the wind outside, cars, the lawnmower, or the vacuum. So a lot of things going on here. So let's just get started with question number one. If you could throw any kind of party, what would the party be and what would it be for? So if money and time were no question, it's just unlimited fun, um, I would throw the most extravagant worldwide scavenger hunt for me and my friends. And we would be paired off, I guess, because why go alone? And, you know, just have fun solving puzzles and riddles just to get to the next destination. And whoever finishes first gets the prize of friendship. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's like The Amazing Race um, on TV, except maybe less physical task prone because knowing us we're not physical people <laughs> um, but yeah and it would just be for celebrating our friendship because why not uh, question number two if you could paint a picture of any scenery you've seen before what would you paint I would paint um, it's not a specific scene in New York but when I was there I always liked seeing the tall buildings just tower over me and kind of just feeling enclosed and feeling small as weird as that sounds but just that visual image of seeing little to no sky and maybe it would be a nighttime picture because I love the city at night it's just like twinkling lights and just busy life and that's what I would paint Number three, if you could choose to stay a certain age forever, what age would it be? I think I'm too young to make this decision, but um, I guess now, and I'm 22, uh, is a good age to stay just because I just graduated college and I'm legal to do most things. and. I'm not done being 22 yet, so there are a lot more things to come, but I guess something that I would like is a more stable job than I have now, just to feel a little bit more secure about this age, but yeah, I'm happy with 22, so 22 forever. If you see me looking down, it's because I have my questions and my answers on paper. Number four. If you knew the world was ending in 2014, what would you do differently? I don't think anything would change personality-wise. I think I would just take more of the opportunity to do some traveling. Um, definitely travel to the places I've never been before and, you know, spend it with someone I like. And that's what I would do before 2004 and we all go kaboom. Number five. If you could choose anyone, who would you pick as your mentor? Call me old fashioned, but I would like a mentor who would like teach me a trait or a skill that I've never learned before. And um, I've always wanted to learn the skill to leather work and iron or metalworking, um, jewelry making, just like those precious gem kinds. Um, I don't know, I just, just thinking about it makes me feel like a medieval person who wants to learn how to be a locksmith or something. But, you know, just learning how to do an art or a craft that is kind of just very old and yeah, that's just a curious thing that I want to do. Um, number six, if you could witness any 
event past, present, or future, what would it be? Um, if I could just visit this time period, not stay, just visit, I would like to visit the Renaissance and hopefully I've been put in the upper class, um, an upper class family, and just be able to wear fanciful ball gowns and you know, drink tea and biscuits all day and walk the gardens and attend parties and you know, it's probably a very romanticized image in my head. It probably wasn't the case back then, but just to answer my curiosity about the Renaissance, I would like to visit that time period. Number seven, if you could learn to do anything, what would it be? And I think I pretty much answered that question in the mentor question. So to just restate it, you know, leather making, iron making, slash metalworking, jewelry making, very old traits that were long forgotten. And maybe I will carry it on to the future. <laughs> Number eight, if you had one project for the next year, what would you do? I would do this one because I'm doing it right now and I think I'm doing a pretty good job of keeping it updated since March, I believe, is when we initiated this blog project. Um, but yeah, I just think it's a good way to communicate with you guys and to keep you guys updated and just to document what I've been doing for my owner friends. And I really like this project a lot. So yeah. This one. Number nine. If you were immortal for a day, what would you do? Probably some hardcore parkour. <laughs> Just jumping from roof to roof, rock to rock, mountain to mountain. I don't know. Just testing my physical boundaries, I guess. Number ten. If you had changed, oh, if you had to change your first name, what would you change it to? Quite honestly, I like my name. I want to keep it. It is mine. Um, but if I had to change it because of secret FBI business, um, I would change it to Luna because I've always liked it since Sailor Moon's cat and. Um, Luna Lovegood from Harry Potter, um, and my name has like a relative connotation to the moon as well, so why not keep it moon theme if I'm changing it? Number 12. If you won the lottery, what is the first thing you would do? Oh no, I missed a question, I'm sorry. Number 11. If you could meet anyone, living or dead, who would you meet? I would love to meet, if I could meet a YouTuber, I would love to meet Etsy Button. I just learned a lot from her vlogs and she is a beauty enthusiast here on YouTube. And I just think she has a very relatable and quirky sense of style and personality. And I would love to meet her. But if I had to meet someone of I guess celebrity status not that she isn't but um, Zoe Deschanel from 500 days of summer or new girl I always had a, a woman crush on her just because she's awkwardly quirky and pretty in her own way and I think she sets it as a good role model from what I have heard and read about her so so Zoe Deschanel and Essie Button or Este from YouTube. Number 12. If you won the lottery, what is the first thing you would do? I would pay off all my debt. That's very simple. <laughs> but after that, the logical, reasonable part of me would put in a bank. And then after that, I would dedicate a small um, a medium-sized portion to splurging on fun stuff. 
such as traveling. Number 13. If you were reincarnated as an animal, drink, or ice cream flavor, and or ice cream flavor, what would it be? As an animal, I think I might have cheated a little bit because I remember taking a quiz about what animal I would be and it said I would be an otter and I can see that because otters are fun and cute and love to hold hands so why not be an otter? <laughs> um, <clears throat> if I were to be a drink I would be coffee because I love coffee um, more specifically a latte because it's sweet and creamy and caffeinated um, if I were to be an ice cream flavor I think I would choose something with chocolate chips in it so I think I would go with mint chocolate chip because it's cool and sweet and yeah I think it's like one of my favorite ice cream flavors so mint chocolate chip number 14 if you could know the answer to any question besides the meaning of life what would it be um I, I really don't want to make this question about money so I guess like maybe how to be just happy. Not that I'm not happy right now, it's just maybe in the future when I do get sad. How to be happy. It's a hard question. Number 15, and the last question. If you could be any fictional character, what or who would that be? Um, knowing me and my Game of Thrones obsession, I would love to be Daenerys Targaryen. And for those of you who do not watch that amazing show, um, which was originally a book, Daenerys Targaryen is the mother of dragons and she owns three dragons which she is trying to control and she is on her mission to take back her throne which her family used to have and she's just that strong female figure who's just trying to figure herself out and I know she gets a lot of like slack about you know being too cocky at some points but you know I think cocky is just or at least her cockiness can be misinterpreted as like overconfidence uh, I don't know I don't want to get into too much details without giving spoilers away so let's just say Daenerys Targaryen because she's a cool ass person in that show so that is it for the July Lunar Rites video questionnaire and I really had fun doing this. Um, it was a lot of thinking and a lot of pushing myself to like, what do I really think about this question? Because <laughs> um, there are a lot of questions that you know you wouldn't typically ask somebody in say an interview or real life conversation. So it was fun to do and I hope you guys have fun doing it too. I can't wait to see your answers and um wrapping things up i hope you have a great day good night whenever you're watching this and i hope you had a fun weekend so talk to you guys later bye